These two peak design straps are my main daily drivers for different types of cameras. Specifically, the leash, I use it with my Ricoh GR3 and sometimes the Leica Q2. However, I find that this strap is not offering enough support, at least on my neck part, for the weight of the Leica Q2. And the original slide by Peak Design is a bit of an overkill for the smaller cameras. Even for a Sony a7 III, this type of setup, this can be an overkill and can get in the way because of how stiff the strap is. So I'm in the market for a strap that is in between these two. All right, something that is medium width. On the right, we have PGY Tech. Middle, we have the Peak Design Slide Light. And then on the left, we have the Ulanzi Falcam strap right here. I don't know the exact model number, but the Falcam strap. Cool. By comparing the three, I will recommend one of the strap to you guys if you have three different types of cameras like I do. First strap we're gonna look into is the Peak Design Slide Light. Now, in terms of build quality, this is top notch because it's a pretty pricey strap. I think this is around $60 at Best Buy currently. It's just a beautiful strap. The, these are metal buckles and then you have the blue accent bolts and the straps are just nice and thick and everything just slides very, very smoothly. There's no wonder why it's called a slide. It's just, it slides nice and smooth, okay? Build quality is amazing. Has a proven design on the quick release anchor. As you can tell, all three of my cameras have the Peak Design anchor. So you know I'm fully adopted when it comes to the Peak Design ecosystem. So for those who don't know about the Peak Design quick release system, it uses like a little anchor, like a little button. And what you do is you just slide it in here. And you press down and it clicks in place. And this thing is not going anywhere, all right? This is like the original quick release. To be honest with you, this is OG and it's like a proven system that as you can tell, I trust with my $5,000 like a Q2. So the Peak Design Anchor, it's everywhere. You can look at lots of replaceable parts for it and it's very adaptable across the ecosystem of Peak Design, which is why it's one of the most popular camera accessory company out there. However, I'm not too happy with the first two straps for various reasons. So while the Peak Design is nice, I wanna look and see what other options we have out here. We're gonna look at the PGY Tech. So immediately, the color is what strikes me as beautiful. This blue feels very unique and I really like it. And when I first unboxed this, I did not know the fact that it has this mouse pad material. Okay, it's super soft. And just imagine this on the back of my neck, it's gonna be very comfortable. Plus, it has a nice amount of padding built into it. So this is gonna be super comfortable. Plus, you can see how flexible this strap is. So imagine my palm is the back of my neck. I'm looking back now. You can just tell that like this is gonna be comfortable because the edges are nice and soft and it's padded, so it's not gonna cut into the back of my neck. In terms of comfort, I would say the PGY Tech is definitely looking very promising. In terms of the weight, I would say it is slightly thinner than the Peak Design strap. However, this is still nice and strong and nice and thick. This is probably the same thickness as the Peak Design leash. In terms of the width of the strap, Peak Design is going to be the widest out of all three. You can tell here. However, when it comes to the softness and flexibility, PGY Tech is softer, more flexible. Now durability wise, I think they're going to be just as good. I'm not too worried about that. Onto the buckles itself, there's a metal exterior and then plastic buckles on the back. One thing I do like is the fact that they add this rubbery material to the pull tab to help you get a better grip when you're trying to slide the strap. When it compared to the Peak Design Slide Lite, the PGY Tech sliding mechanism is not as smooth. It's still smooth, it's just not as smooth of a slide operation compared to the Peak Design. Maybe a month of using it, I'm sure this is gonna smooth out, all right? Because your body is gonna have oil and you're gonna, the material is just gonna rub off and it's gonna break in. And this is just gonna feel smoother as time goes on. And the most important thing of any strap 
course, is how securely it will attach to your camera. It utilizes a different anchor system. So you can take a look at this little anchor. It's like this tear-shaped anchor, and it's, it's tiny. Diameter-wise than the Peak Design version, but it is thicker in the sense that it's like a little ball. Okay, you can see there's like a little notch on the very top, and that's on purpose. Onto the quick release mechanism, there's a button that you physically have to press in order for the anchor to come out. But in order for you to attach an anchor, it's easy. You just put it on here and then you hear a nice click and done and you're in. And this thing is very, very secure. It's not coming out. I've been trying to pull this way, basically trying to like stress test it. I think 90% of your time, the camera's weight is just going to be exerting downward forces like this. It's very rare for it to exert outward forces, but I have been trying to pull and see if I can break it out of the quick release. So far, it feels very secure. I like that it has this little plastic latch on the inside that prevents the anchor from coming out. It gives me a sense of security whenever this is attached. I'm not too worried about this coming off, okay? And the last thing I wanna talk about is innovation. The PGY Tech has built-in magnet so that whenever you're not using a strap, you can magnet the two ends together so that you can just wrap this around your neck or your shoulder. You don't have to stress about putting this inside your backpack or stuffing it in your pocket. This feature is something that Peak Design does not have. Overall, I'm really liking this PGY Tech because of the comfort, because of the anchor, and because of the design. All right, last but not least, we have the Ulanzi Falcam camera strap. Now this is the most expensive version because it has this nice leather padding system on top, okay? Let's take a closer look. This is a very soft leather. I'm not sure if this is real leather or if this is pleather, okay? But it feels nice. It does smells like pleather, so I'm not really sure. But overall, it has a very soft touch to it. It has nice padding so your shoulders don't feel fatigued as quickly and as often and it's just nice stitching overall. Thing that you can tell the difference is thickness of the strap. Now, this is a very thin strap when compared to the Peak Design. Let me see if I can show it to you guys side by side. The bottom is the Falcam, and then the top is the Peak Design. As you can tell, there is definitely a difference in the weight that is being used in the weaves. So I would say durability wise, Peak Design is going to win. Let's talk about the sliding system. They all have sliding systems nowadays and you can tell everything is a plastic buckle. That doesn't always mean it's a bad thing. It also often means that it's like a smoother operation. So let's take a look. So this is the pull tab here. If I pull down, it's pretty smooth, all right? And if I want to extend the length of the strap, this is nice and smooth, all right? In terms of smoothness when it comes to the slide operation, I would rank Peak Design number one, the Falcam number two, and then the PGY Tech number three. Although that's such a minor thing. It is satisfying though, it is smooth, thanks to the plastic buckle. When it comes to build quality, it's nice, but a lot of plastic pieces, and it has the Peak Design aesthetic to it, like the same, leather brown color kind of thing. Similar, all right guys, similar. Next thing we're gonna talk about is the quick release system. Now, it is different in a sense that the Falcam does not have a physical button to release the anchor. All you do is pull on this little tab and it comes right out. Now, I was sketched out at first when I first played with this. I was like, dude, all you have is this little pull tab and what if this thing comes out? So I've been trying very hard to actually break the system per se, not to break the anchor. First thing you need to know is that 90% of your camera's weight is often going to be exerting downward forces like this. So this is taken care of. But what are the off chances where the forces are coming towards you, the sideways forces, like this way? And I've been trying to pull on it, trying to break it, I don't want to break it, but you know, try and pull on it to simulate some weird scenarios. For any reason, this strap is a little stiff. I'm pushing it upward. Is this anchor going to come out? And the good news is no, it will not come out. So if you're pulling directly upward, 
this anchor will not come out. It is only if you pull up and outward that the anchor will come out. And this is the reason why. This little ledge is what prevents the anchor from coming out from the entrance. And then these little ledges on the inside is what prevents the anchor from coming out this way. So overall, as simple as this design is, it actually works surprisingly well. My only concern would be theft because this is so easy to take out. If anyone who knows this system, all they need to do is very nimbly and quickly pull on this and they can disconnect the camera from your strap. Versus something like a peak design, they'll actually have to kind of work for it by pressing down and then outward. Versus this one is literally a nice lift. If we live in a perfect world where no one steals, I think this is gonna be amazing because it's so easy. But if we're traveling, I don't trust anybody. I wanted to make it as hard for a thief to steal my stuff as possible. And I think the Falcam in this case is great for daily use, but not so much for traveling. If I have to rank quickly security, I'll rank Peak Design number one, PGY Tech number two, and then Falcam number three. So at the end, it's down to the Falcam versus the PGY Tech. And I'm going to recommend the PGY Tech. Number one, I love the colorways. The design is just beautiful. Number two, I love the back material here. Now durability wise, time will tell because this is like a softer mouse pad material. So I don't know how long this is going to last. But for now, the panning is sufficient. It feels very comfortable around my neck. And then the sliding operations is nice and smooth. It's a beautiful strap. There's good attention to details. As well as I like the fact that there is a physical button for the quick release. The anchor is nice and small, it's discreet. And I don't mind adding this on top of my existing camera system so that I can have two anchors. Why not? It's so small anyways, who cares? So if I do want to interchange from Peak Design strap, I'll just use the Peak Design anchor. And if I want to use the PGY tech, then I'll use the PGY tech. Why not? Why not? Overall, I like the innovation. I like the magnetic connection right here. I think this is going to be a very comfortable strap that I'll be using moving forward. So if you're interested in buying any of these straps and to support my channel, check out the affiliate links in the description below. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Bye.